Hey guys, thought I'd tell you a little bit about my HDPE experiments lately. I cut up a bunch of HDPE, a lot of the normal stuff around the house, laundry bottles, anything that's recycling number two, and I put them into the toaster oven in a can to get them to melt. Now my experiment was to do two different models. One of them I was clamping in a vise, the other one I was just letting melt on its own. The one on the left has been clamped, the one on the right was not. As you can see, there's a little bit more burning on the one on the right where there was air between the can and the HDPE. Here's one that was clamped, nice and tight looking, a little bit shorter of course. Here the one on the right, as you can see, just globulated on the top, just melted in. Well, after I put it in the uh, lathe and turned it a little bit, you can see there's some giant holes in the one that was not clamped. And here's the one that was clamped, looks pretty solid. I chucked it up and started to do some turning. And I was loving the way it looked. Great texture throughout, really cool coloring, but as you can see, I started to find some voids. These places were either air pockets when I was clamping, or more likely it shrunk. Well anyways, I turned it down to just shreds and decided, what the heck, well, I'll melt that down and see what happens. I did clamp it as well since I found great results clamping. Got it, turned it down, and it looked pretty darn good, and actually it worked good. There were still some voids in the middle that I couldn't avoid, but it was better. I'm still trying to find the perfect way to melt HDPE and turn it into something cool.